So, how much energy is in a gallon of gas? We all buy gas every time we fuel up our cars. How much energy am I actually putting into that gas tank? You know, we get in gallons. Gallons are a unit of volume. But what is that energy? Well, I will start out by telling you that I'm going to give you, I'm going to start out with a very conservative estimate. It's 120 million joules. Now that's a conservative estimate. Um, why is it an estimate? Because not all gasoline is the same. Summer blends tend to have more energy in every gallon than a winter blend. If you're in a place like California or other places where they have more ethanol in the tank, well, it means that there's less energy in the gallon because there's less energy in a gallon of ethanol than there is in a gallon of gasoline that's made with petroleum. So the number varies, but conservatively, 120 million. Most gasolines have a bit more, but we'll just start out with that. So imagine you want to try to figure out, well, what would that be like if you wanted to compare it to your energy used in your home? Well, the energy in your home is being sold to you by the kilowatt hour, and there's 3,600,000 joules per kilowatt hour. So you divide that, joules cancel each other out, and basically what you find you have, you got 33 and one third kilowatt hours in every gallon of gasoline. That's a little more than I use in my house every day. Well, let's compare it to something else. So instead of comparing your gasoline consumption to your home electricity use, what do you say to compare it to, I don't know, the energy I consume to your diet? So again, we got 120, whoa, this marker is not so good. I'm gonna use the pink one. So 120 mi million joules divided by 4,186 joules per dietary calorie, or outside the US people sometimes refer to them as kilocalories. Um, the energy required to heat an entire liter, one degree, as opposed to a milliliter, one degree Celsius. So, um, divided by 4,186, and what you get is, it's 28, um, just rounded up, 29,000 dietary calories or kilocalories. It's the calories that are on the back of your candy bar. Calories. And that's how much energy is in a gallon of gas. It's for a person my size, that's about two weeks worth of food consumption, all in a single gallon of gas. Now, what do you say we compare that gasoline in your car to the gasoline consume, consumed by your stove? Well, your stove is gonna be measured in BTUs, right? So, 120 million joules. Now there is 1,055 BTU or joules for every British thermal unit, BTU. And if you do that, you find that you end up with about 114,000 BTUs of energy in a single gallon of gas. Uh, now, my gas bill comes in therms. That's pretty easy once you got your BTUs because there's exactly 100,000 BTUs in a therm. So I'm just going to take this down here 114,000 BTUs divided by 100,000 because there's 100,000 BTUs in a therm, and you find that your number is 1.14 therm. So actually a therm is almost equal to the amount of energy in a gallon of gasoline. So if you ever wondered what the therms are on your gas bill, it's almost equal to a gallon of gasoline, and you might find you're getting a better deal on those therms than you are on the gasoline. But long story short, this is about the amount of energy that is in a gallon of gas.
33 and a third kilowatt hours if you're comparing it to electricity. 29,000 calories if you're comparing it to calorie consumption from your food. Or 114,000 BTUs or 1.14 therms. So you can now compare your gasoline consumption to your consumption of energy in other forms. You can also compare how much you're paying for that gasoline compared to how much you're paying for the electricity or the natural gas you're using. I hope you've enjoyed the video and have a nice day. There's got to be a way to turn this off somehow.